My last video looked at treatment for fire blight in pear trees, but this year some of my apple trees are having fire blight. For the Messianic Judaism Network, I'm Jim Becca. When my grandfather came to Texas from East Europe, he didn't grow apples. I think he thought there were a little bit too much trouble there. Uh, can get diseases a little bit easier than some of the other trees he grew. So he left them alone. Fire blight in apples looks the same as it does in pears. Limbs begin dying and if you get to it early, you can save the tree. These are some of my pear trees from the last video, and you can see they've recovered extremely well, even though I got to them after the blight had spread throughout the tree. If that happens to you, you've got to do a lot of pruning, which is what I had to do. Remember, fire blight is contagious, and you have to be careful how you handle tools and dispose of the branches you cut away. The things you'll need are something to prune with, Bleach for cleaning your tools in between cuts. One part bleach to four parts water. Be sure and wipe off your tools when you're all finished because remember, bleach is corrosive. You might oil your tool. You'll need gloves and a spray bottle. You should mix the four parts vinegar to six parts water and spray the affected areas of the apple tree with the vinegar solution. Just like the pears, pruned down several inches from the affected area. And you can see how I moved the diseased limbs to a pile away from the trees. Check your tree each week after you've treated it. You may need to go back and spray it a second time. Sabah Shelley, my grandfather, checked his trees regularly for fire blight, which is a good rule. 